Welcome back. It's time for us to look at what's happening in the business world. Now, the Ministry of Finance, Planning and Economic Development and Partners have raised key innovation strategies to stimulate development financing in light of the COVID-19 pandemic. Let's hear more in this report. The First World Development Finance Forum 2020 has ended in Kampala with a virtual attendance from members collected from development lending institutions. During the forum, Finance Minister Matia Kaseja emphasized the need for interventions to help developing economies reduce poverty. This situation has given us an opportunity to rethink on how to develop our economy. Many things we took them for granted. We depended on quite many friends, which we are not saying we shall not continue, but uh, our thinking now is that we need to look more inward uh, for us to be able to produce whatever we can produce here than getting it from outside. So it has given us an opportunity, and I believe, you, believe me, you, me, we are moving on this one, and we leave this economy will soon, uh, once people have settled down and we have got used to COVID, this economy should begin to thrive uh, as it used to be and even faster. Key issues of the forum were the signing of the joint resolution committing development financing institutions to jointly promote sustainable growth. Uganda Development Bank Limited and three other development financing institutions across the globe was awarded sustainability certification for its commitment to agenda oh, Jesus for its commitment to agendaing sustainability in its strategic operations. We wanted to establish the following in this survey the extent and impact of the coronavirus crisis on the institutions and their businesses, the measures taken to address the potential or actual damage to the institutions, balance sheets, and financial performance, what the current sources of funding were and where those were sufficient, the importance of various support measures that could be looked into um, required to address the issues, which SDGs they plan to support in the next three years and how much additional funding they required. And lastly, what their preferred sources and types of funding um, were. Sandra Kahunde, UBC. Ugandans have been lauded for 